just about all of us will enjoy some type of music, and some of us even love it to the point of learning an instrument. Most of us will stick to the more traditional instruments, uh, violin, cello, guitar, bass, drums, you know, pretty much any of that. Well, I want to introduce you today to something that might look fairly typical, but is actually an extended range guitar. It's a larger guitar than your standard. Now, in order to understand the extended range guitar, you need to first understand the standard guitar. There are six strings on a standard, uh, generally anywhere from 19 to 24 frets. It's tuned from E to E and covers about three octaves throughout the whole fretboard. And uh, some of these six strings are a little bit longer in scale. Um, so, for example, this is a 28-inch scale, whereas a normal guitar is 25, about 25 inches. So what encompasses the term extended range guitar is any guitar that was built for a typically lower register than a standard range guitar. Um, that can include the larger scale length where you'll tune B to B instead of E to E. Or um, you can have more frets. Uh, there are some guitars that have up to like 30 frets. Or you can add strings, like this example. It's got eight strings instead of six. Now the history behind the extended range guitar. Really, when what we would call an extended range guitar uh, was first created, there really wasn't a standard guitar yet. This was back in the Broke period when they were still fairly closely related to the lyre. And instead of single strings, they had what are called courses, where you're essentially playing two strings at once. Uh, according to uh, Fred Brown from, uh, in his article from Folk to Metal, um, that's where this broke information came from. And then in a more modern example, uh, George Van Epps, who's a jazz guitarist from the 30s, um, commissioned a seven string guitar from Epiphone in order to just have more range than the standard six. And then the popular usage of the seven string guitar really began uh, when Steve Vai uh, commissioned Ibanez for a seven string called the Universe. This was again just for a little bit extra room. Uh, Steve Vai is a virtuoso who has many albums that have influenced thousands of players. Now, according to Christian Melendez, the real uh, common use today for the extended range guitar is the metal community, which really began with Korn in the 1990s using the universe guitars uh, for new metal. And even uh, it's advanced to the point today where bands like Animals as Leaders and Meshuggah are using eight, nine, ten string guitars. Now, why use an uh, extended range guitar? Uh, for this example with the eight string, you're covering four octaves instead of the three you would have on the six string. Um, it also makes it to where you can play larger chords, which will include more bass notes. Um, the four octaves is more comparable to a grand piano, which has seven. 
So as you go up in number of strings, you're just going to be covering more and more octaves. In addition to the bigger chords, you also have more chord shapes. You can move the shapes around the neck um, or just come up with your own, which Tosin Abasi from Animals as Leaders has invented hundreds of eight string chords. Another advantage is you can play a bass line on the uh, lower strings while playing a melody, melody on the higher strings. In conclusion, the extended range guitar creates more room for exploration. Uh, you can come up with your own scales, chords, um, you can use more notes. Uh, something that's popular in metal is uh, arpeggios where you're just running down a scale. And with eight strings you get 30 something notes in an arpeggio versus the six string which is far less. And then in addition you get something that is as beautiful as this. It has about oh 24 God. strings on it, I think. <laughs>